Hey everybody, it is Johanna here at Resident Essentials and I am super excited to announce that today is my last Saturday at Resident Essentials. I have to switch my schedule um, being the astrologer here. So I have changed it up on the website. If you are looking for an astrology reading, today was your last day to get one on Saturday. So I will be taking appointments only as of now for the foreseeable future. So if you would like to check out the new schedule, it's going to be hopefully Monday through Thursday in the afternoons. Um, but check it out there and you can book an astrology reading as the updated schedule. So I've loved being here on Saturdays. It's been awesome. I love having people and just seeing uh, all the fun things that are happening every Saturday. Uh, we will continue to have the astrology, the Albuquerque, uh, Albuquerque, <laughs> Albuquerque astrology group meeting here every third Saturday. So that will still be happening. So I'm super excited to see that group growing and meeting new people. And uh, we will also still be doing cosmic cooping, but we will let you know if there are any schedule changes up, upcoming. So we are at the end of the month. Can you believe it? We are totally done with Leo season and this week is definitely a shift from a lot of that fiery energy that we were dealing with uh, this past month. And now we are fully into earth and air energy, which is going to be a nice shift. I think everyone is a little burnt out, a little bit stressed. Now we just need to take a deep inhale of all of that air energy. We have, uh, we have some big shifts happening. So we have Libra coming into focus. That's the... Ah, that Libra energy, we can inhale the beauty, the lightness, the joy, the Venusian energy of Libra because we have Mercury going into Libra as of tomorrow, the 29th. So uh, if you are here and you can hear me, please say hi in the chat. I uh, cannot see who is on through StreamYard. So if you are here and you can hear me, say hi in the comments. But... Um, back to our forecast. So this week, yes, I said we're going to be feeling much more of a cooling energy, a shift into earth and air. So when Mercury goes into Libra, which it's going to do tomorrow at 11.09 uh, p.m., that's going to be a lightning. I mean, we've had this kind of little stint of very focused energy with Mercury in its home state. So hopefully you guys got some productivity um, done in the past few weeks when Mercury was in Virgo. So were you guys starting projects or finishing projects or transitioning, you know, back to school? That type of energy was happening. But, you know, Mercury was only in Virgo for a short period of time. And now we are into Libra. So that's going to be a definite shift when you when we feel that Mercury energy shifting into a Venus ruled sign. Well, um, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say, you know, this planet's being, the sign is ruled by this planet, then you should definitely check out the Astro our astrology group because we talked a lot about um, techniques and basic astrology and all of that. So uh, Albuquerque Astrology Group is our, our, um, our group here on, on Facebook and on meetup.com. So check out meetup.com if you are interested in learning more about astrology and want to come and share a community with us here at Resident Essentials. So... Yes, we have this shift, and it is going to be a welcome shift, I think. Even with Virgo energy and, um, you know, Mars is in Virgo right now. So we are going to feel this earthy shift. Um, you know, Mars was a little hot-headed when it was in Leo, so it's nice to kind of feel that cooling down a little bit. Um, it's a little more, more focused. However, we have Neptune still hanging out in Pisces, which has been there for years. Every single planet that goes through Virgo, since we're officially in Virgo season right now, is going to make an aspect to that Neptune. So every single planet that moves through Virgo is going to sort of feel a little flushed out by that oceanic energy of Neptune, which dissolves and absorbs and flows and moves all of the energy into a more um, mystical or fantasy related place. So, you know, Virgo is not into uh, blah, 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 mystical, dreamy, unfocused energy. 
but Pisces is. So we're going to see that. We're going to see that energy coming through with Mars come this week making an opposition to Neptune. And that happens um, near the end of the week. So we'll, we'll be officially into September on September. Uh, <laughs> obviously, we'll be in September. On uh, Thursday the 2nd, we're going to have this opposition between Mars and Neptune. Now, that technically is not a very fun feeling for a lot of people because Mars, um, you know, just like Virgo, doesn't want to be dreamy, doesn't want to be scattered, doesn't want to be like uh, wishy-washy, right? It, Mars wants to take action. It wants to go do the thing. So that might be a little bit of a struggle this week on Thursday when um, if you're being confronted with a decision or you, have to, you feel like you have to make a decision or have to take action in some way, there may be some... Um, stress there, some opposition pulling you, like, maybe I should do it this way, or, well, it's not too clear, or I don't know which decision to make, I'm confused. That type of energy may be coming up for you on Thursday this week. But other than that, we seem to have a pretty um, interesting week as far as the energy going, making an aspect. We have the sun, which is in Virgo, making a square aspect to fate. And we know the nodes are still in Sagittarius and Gemini for just a little bit. They're going to shift this fall into Scorpio and Taurus. So there's going to be a shift from that fire air into earth and water again. But before that happens, the sun tomorrow on the 29th is going to be making a square aspect to the north node of fate. So the sun is our source of vitality. It's what gives us all energy. It gives us life. Right now it's in Virgo, so it's very productive. So if you're feeling in, empowered in some way or feeling uh, revitalized in a way that can, um, you know, get you more focused on your goals or what do you want to change in your life, that's really going to be activated on Sunday uh, with your future, with your your fate, with your destiny, with what you feel is magnetizing you in some direction in your life. Are you trying to change your career? Are you trying to change your relationship? Are you trying to change whatever goals you have for your life? You're really going to feel some type of stress tomorrow or at least a challenge or an activation of that energy because um, something about your, your daily routine or your daily life is going to feel a little out of whack. Like, is this really what I want to be doing? Is this really what's best for my intentions or for my truth and authenticity? Do I really, am I really on the path that I want to be on? Because it's going to be like a little spark, like maybe an aha moment tomorrow where you're like, oh, I feel like there's a question there that it needs to be answered, that needs to be addressed before I can go in the direction that I want to go. So that's a little exciting. It may be uncomfortable, but I think this week really is about potential and potential forward motion, potential uh, decisions. Maybe a lot of questions are going to be coming up this week. Sorry, I'm rocking the table here. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, I think, welcome. <laughs> it's We didn't get a lot of time to think in during Leo season. It was not a cerebral time of year. It was just full-on bombardment of experience and running the gauntlet, I think. People were just overwhelmed, just totally burned physically, in the body and soul, but mentally, we weren't able to really process a lot of stuff. So that's what we're doing now. We're in like the digestion stage of Leo season. I mean, Virgo is there to clean up Leo's mess, basically. We talk about Leo as like the party. The Virgo is the one who cleans up after the party. Sorry, Virgos. But we love you for that, right? We need someone to get us back on track. And wherever you have Virgo in your chart, that's the area that is looking to get back on track right now. That Those are where the questions are going to be coming up for you that need to be answered in order to fulfill your path, fulfill your destiny. So if you don't know where Virgo is in your astrological chart or in your natal chart, please, um, you can drop a comment below. I will be happy to email you a copy of your natal chart for totally free. And as long as you know the time of your birth, the date of birth, your place of birth, all of the vital information that I need, I will be very happy to send that to you. So, because um, that's where you really want to be focusing on. That's where all the energy is coming through. We're having a lot of energy um, going through Virgo, a lot of energy going through Libra. 
And we're having a little bit of square off with Pisces happening. This, well, I guess technically it's not square, it's an opposition. We are having some energy going through those areas of your chart. So if you don't know where those areas are, if you don't know if you have planets there or what house system is, is happening for you, please let me know. I will be happy to let you know so you can plan your week accordingly. So um, what are we doing today? We have the moon in Taurus. Very nice. Finally can relax a little bit. Uh, you know, when the moon is in Aries, which just you know happened a few days ago, usually people get tense and start wanting to fight somebody or get into an argument or feel really angry about something. So this is like the cool down <laughs> version of that, um, of all the activity that was happening at the end of the week. So just relax. We can hopefully do something really nice for ourselves tonight with that moon in Virgo. Uh, the, you know, Virgo loves to pamper itself, or sorry, moon in Taurus. I don't know where Virgo. The earth signs are taking over. Um, so the moon in Taurus tonight is going to give you a little opportunity to relax. So get yourself a glass of wine or take a bubble bath or read a book or snuggle up and go to sleep early. Whatever you want to do to give yourself a little self-care, um, that'll be nice to have. So tomorrow the moon goes into Gemini and then we also have Mercury going into Libra pretty close to each other around, um, you know, the moon goes into G Gemini around 1041 uh, a.m., Oh no, they're not close to each other. <laughs> the moon goes into Virgo, the moon goes into Gemini in the morning, and then um, Mercury goes into Libra at night. So that'll be two two big events, as well as that square that's happening tomorrow. Maybe kind of a a big moment for you as far as mentally. You may have some light bulb go off for you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just process it. That's what this whole week is for: processing some new ideas and maybe trying to demystify something, right? Because Neptune is going to be involved in there this week as well. So we also have the moon going into Cancer on Tuesday. And by, let's see, by the time we've done, we've dealt with that um, Mars and Neptune energy on Thursday the 2nd, the moon will have gone into Leo on Friday the 3rd. So... That'll be fun, right? Moon and Leo is always fun. Friday night, Moon and Leo, we may be able to celebrate something finally. Or just give yourself a little pat on the back for surviving this um, this month, which was quite intense. So uh, we also have an interesting little configuration on, thir or on Friday the 3rd, which is Mercury trying the North Node. So once again, we're kind of bookending the week with this nodal activation. And that's, that's pretty, um, it's great because we're going to have a little opportunity to reflect on what these nodes have meant for us this year before they shift into earth and water. So there is some question going on and it might be, the answer may be coming to you at the end of the week. So the question that's asked tomorrow with the sun squaring the north node is going to uh, going to make its second pass at the end of the week with Mercury coming into trine. Now the trine aspect is a lot more pleasant, it's a lot easier, so you may find the answer coming to you or a solution or a pathway or a conversation that comes to you by the end of the week on Friday that will lead you in towards, towards more of a um, resonant path for you or your future, whatever you, direction you feel that you need to go in. You're going to have the words to say it, the message. If you are, you know, a spiritual person or a metaphysical person, you may feel a connection to spirit pulling you in the right direction, or you may get a message from spirit pulling you in the right direction um, uh, by Saturday or by Friday the third. So those, it's kind of interesting. We're going to have a lot of questions this week that are going to be coming up. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. I will still be doing my broadcast, obviously. Uh, oh yeah, Saturday. We'll have something interesting to talk about next Saturday, so I won't, I won't give it away. I'll talk about it then. But, yeah, I will still be doing my uh, Saturday forecasts. They will just be from my house, not from this beautiful tapestry uh, office that we have here at Resident Essentials. So if you are looking for some office space on Saturday, you should definitely come by and check out our center. Um, if you are an astrologer or a tarot reader or if you have your own metaphysical practitioner, or any type of business, then come check out our space. It's really beautiful. The, the energy is wonderful here. I love being here every Saturday. So you guys can grab my spot if you want it. So if you are interested, talk to Michelle, talk to um, any of our practitioners. 
me or Rosemary or Donna, we are all here to help you and answer any questions. So I hope you've all had a wonderful Saturday so far and the rest of your weekend and the rest of next week going into September. So uh, I will see you all later. Bye.